1983 saw Sinn Féin pose a serious electoral threat to constitutional nationalists, and secret British documents released today show a high level of concern in London. Northern Secretary Jim Pryor said Sinn Féin was consolidating its support by a careful amalgamation of controlled terrorism and pavement politics. And it worked in June 1983. Gerry Adams won West Belfast from Gerry Fitt. British officials were instructed to be careful in any correspondence with the new MP. Letters should be brief and formal, avoiding any appearance of friendliness. They were told not to use phrases like thank you for your letter or I regret that I'm unable to grant your request. Pryor told Cabinet colleagues in September that Sinn Féin had many of the same leaders as the IRA and had used intimidation and personation on a large scale. Probably 25% of their vote had been personated. If they could get over half of the nationalist vote, he said, the SDLP could be politically destroyed. After the deaths of six people in the Harrods bomb in December, the Irish government considered banning Sinn Féin, putting pressure on London to do the same. Pryor said that Sinn Féin had encouraged violence but were able to exploit the democratic system remaining just inside the law and yet able to maximise both terrorist and political pressure. But on the other hand, banning the party would provide a rallying point for further violence. The British were also keeping a close eye on the Workers' Party, described as an ideological party of the extreme left with a violent, subversive background. It had links with the Soviets and a number of party members hold positions in the news media, particularly RTE and trade unions. The British concluded that secret government information was reasonably well protected here in Dublin, but they warned that pub talk, general gossip and journalistic irresponsibility are specific Irish weaknesses. David McCullough, RT News.